We're going to make a simple Wings of War range measuring stick here. And the basis of these is a chopstick. Um, what you're going to want to do is basically go and gather up a chopstick from a fast food restaurant like Panda Express or something like that. You're also going to need a number two pencil or just a regular pencil will work. Uh, ballpoint or fine tip, felt tip, uh, black marking pen, some fine grit or medium grit sandpaper, and a small handsaw. Um, also, you'll need some colored pencils. And putting this together is pretty simple. Um, so I'm kind of cheating here in the video. I've already made one, and it's a little easier to make one uh, after you've made one for a reference. But imagine, if you will, that lower chopstick is actually the range uh, measuring stick that comes in the Wings of War box. What you're going to do is basically place that next to your chopstick and go ahead and mark the center line and then the end. And as you can see, just a little bit of the chopstick there is sticking out over the end. Well, it's pretty easy. You just saw off that excess end. Um, that'll take a little bit of a fine touch, but you'll get it. And uh, then once you're done, um, you know, compare those against the measuring stick. And if you're a little bit long, sand off the end until you get it to basically um, as close to uh, uh, the regular stick as you can. And you're also going to want to take your sandpaper and sand down the chopsticks um, just so that they're nicer and rounder and feel good in your hands. After you've done, you're done sanding them, you'll uh, just take a paper towel and buff off that excess dust so it's not there. Go ahead and take the stick at that point again and mark out the uh, midpoint again. This time you're going to mark all the way around and when you've got it to a point where you like it, you're going to mark it in with a pen um, and try and make that a nice sharp fine black line. And take your colored pencil and I'm coloring the back half of my uh, marking stick and I'm coloring them red and orange and things like that because, you know, that seems to where you'd be doing more damage and it seems like uh, that's what should be colored in red. Um, so yeah, just color away. And I'm coloring, coloring, coloring here. Right, right, right. And after that's done, take your paper towel again, and sorry this is off camera, but you want to buff off the excess um, colored pencil dust. And you just keep rubbing on that um, away from the center line so it doesn't blur and smudge um, until you can't get any more uh, pigment off. And these are what the finished products look like. There's an orange one, yep. Yeah. Two red ones down there, and yep, yeah, there it is. Have fun. Go make machine gun noises.